Satnam. My name is Guru Fatah Seg and I'm a teacher of Kundalini Yoga. Today we're going to talk about Kundalini and the navel. Now, I'm a Westerner by uh, upbringing and uh, really there's no concept in the West of the navel. We, sometimes we joke, oh, somebody's a navel gazer or they're picking lint out of their navel. We take it as a very uh, trivial thing. I think therefore I am. That's the big statement for Western philosophy. But in Kundalini Yoga, we give a lot of respect to the navel. We say that your potential lies there in a way that really um, Western psychology or physiology, anatomy, has no concept of. Kundalini, really there's no translation of it. It's a spiral, it's a symbol of evolution. It's basically your unfulfilled spirit, your unfulfilled soul. Your, we say the Kundalini sleeps at the navel. We do exercises in Kundalini Yoga to stimulate the Kundalini so it awakens. And when the Kundalini awakens at the navel, the trajectory, the path, is that it goes to the base of your spine and then comes up through the chakras, so the muladhara, the base of the spine, the first chakra, second chakra, third chakra, also about at the navel, fourth chakra, fifth, sixth, top of the head, seventh, and then we say we have an eighth chakra. And all that journey begins by empowering the navel. Not from reading books, not even from watching videos, but from actually doing the work. And uh, I'll show you later in the, in the video a couple of exercises that can help with this. So that's the classic Kundalini Yoga theory. And it's not that far removed from martial arts theory as well. I practice Hapkido, it's a Korean martial art. And we say that the Qi, the life force, also resides at the navel. Uh, in China they call it Qi, so your Qi, your life force. And if you practice those advanced martial arts, you do your navel work and you do it regularly. You do it every day to engage the navel so you have that power to break the bricks and to break the boards, uh, which is not something we do in Kundalini Yoga, but the, the force is the same, the life force. How you apply it is another story. We take it inside to awaken ourselves to be uh, and to radiate and to manifest ourselves in the best, most enlightened way we can do. Another aspect of the, of the navel, so we have Kundalini Yoga theory, we have martial arts theory, is the, the trauma theory, modern trauma theory. We say there's a vagus nerve which runs from there through your heart, your lungs, up into your brain, a very important nerve. And when you are under trauma, your vagus nerve is shot. Um, there's a polyvagal theory that says that um, you know, there's an external lining that we have as people. The vagus nerve is a very sophisticated nerve and it's just gone. And as it's gone, uh, your heart rate variability is gone. Your capacity, the capacity of your heart to dance is gone. It's not an irregular heartbeat, it's just a human heartbeat. It's a healthy heart, but that's gone. And uh, your brain function changes too. You, where normally you want to be up here, sometimes we call this the third eye. We can call it the prefrontal cortex, the center of your your command center, where you're able to function and have self-awareness to move forward, that's gone and it's hijacked by your amygdala in the back, your emotions, your past, your memories, and you're living in the past rather than in the present and forget about the future. But by healing the, the vagus nerve, by stimulating the vagus nerve, all this can be set right. You regain your heart rate variability, your brain function returns to where it should be in the front here, and you have a normal functioning life. I'll add to this my own personal experience. Uh, the fourth little chapter in my story is um, when I was 16, after I'd studied all the philosophy I could and read all the, the great uh, writers, I, I joined a, a, a counterculture. I became a hippie. And uh, uh, I was uh, unique in my community. I didn't take any LSD. I didn't take any, any psychedelics for my first year or so in the community. And then finally I was on the west coast of Vancouver Island and I, was, I felt I'd hit a wall. I wanted to change the world, but I sure wasn't doing it. And uh, I'd read Aldous Huxley. He wrote a book called The Doors of Perception, where he talked about uh, LSD as a, as a catalyst for human growth. And, uh, and so I tried it and I found um, something interesting. Not only it opened my doors of perception, but uh, every time I did it, and I didn't do it much, I did it on Sundays as a sacrament, uh, my navel, something, the first thing 
my navel was affected. And so I, I noticed that and it felt uh, like the navel had flipped, uh, which is difficult to describe, or there are butterflies. And, um, and then the ecstasy happened and then the doors of perception and opened up and uh, altered reality I experienced. Uh, I don't recommend LSD to anyone because I couldn't focus, I couldn't read a book for about three years after. Some people have uh, very bad experiences. Uh, I'm a teacher of Kundalini yoga, not of psychedelics, but I'm just relating the, the experience of the navel, which again uh, applies to Kundalini yoga. Uh, my last thing I want to say about the navel is that uh, if I want to feel more alive, if I want to feel more engaged, I will engage my navel with navel exercises. And uh, we have a video now, it's called, I call it the greatest exercise in the world, and you can look it up. And it goes into the navel. And that's one of my favorite exercises for that. It's a hard exercise. It's not fun to do, but I feel afterwards I feel engaged again. And the other exercise that I love is to do what I call uh, wheel pose. Backwards, and you go like this, and it totally exposes your navel. It lifts it up. You stretch up like this. The breath of fire. You do that as long as you can. And guess what? you start to feel really engaged again. It's, uh, you feel whole, you feel alive, you feel uh, very vitalized. It's pretty my favorite exercise. So that's five points about the Kundalini uh, I wanted to share with you and, and the navel, how important it is. And um, try it yourself if you want to uh, feel more engaged, engage your navel.